What were your discoveries in putting together the Atlantean calendar, and what does it all mean? <clears throat> in the Atlantean calendar iteration or phase of my own post neo nokian work, I sought to restore to its original antediluvian glory an authentic artifact unifying all the predictive and calendrical systems of the earliest civilizations of humankind. Thus, I began by finishing the Neonokian work of S.L.M. Mathers in the Golden Dawn book published by Israel Rigardi. From this foundation of base four elements and the base 12 Babylonian zodiac, I was able to add the 64 hexagrams of Chinese I Ching, the five Vedic Hindu tattvas, the 36 Egyptian deacons, and even the 20 Mayan kin or day names. Each of these components has its own function within the design of the whole mechanism, and although each can operate independently of every other, the smooth functioning of the entire mechanism as a whole depends intrinsically on each of these parts working perfectly in tandem with every other. The result of this work is largely symmetrical and therefore subtly pleasing aesthetically. However, the complexity and sheer number of the parts involved tend to overwhelm and tire the average viewer's eyes sooner than later. This is one reason I often compare the Atlantean calendar to the engine of the car that is the ECS. Everyone wants to drive the car, but fewer can fully understand it enough to repair one's broken engine. 